Hey everyone, it's, I'm here shooting a, uh, a live video, um, no script. I just wanted to tell a story and uh, it's very bright too. Uh, talk about uh, Mike Lalonde and what he's going through right now. Um, and I uh, just, I don't know, I think it's important that people, you know, know some of the things that are happening in the community right now as we speak. And this, uh, you know, Mike asked me to, if I could help him and I don't really know how I can. So I thought maybe I'd make a video and, and, and you know, maybe that'll help. But uh, in a nutshell, I'm at uh, 188 Homestead Road and uh, I'll show you, this is what I'm gonna be talking about is uh, Mike Lalonde's place here. And uh, as many of you are, many of you are aware, uh, Mike's been in the community for a long time, but uh, he's kind of a quiet guy. Um, many people don't know him. And uh, about a year ago, his house burnt down. He didn't have insurance, um, so needless to say, it's uh, I think it's been a struggle for him. And uh, you know. Um, some other runs, run-ins with bad luck as well, but he's a pretty private guy, so you know I don't want to go too far into his, his personal life, but he did injure himself in an accident as well and broke his leg. But through all this, he's managed to keep his job, and uh, you know I think he's managed to do pretty good. I mean, all things considered, he's doing okay, and uh, he erected this here uh, structure that he got a permit for, and. Uh, you know, he's got a trailer and that's where he's living. So, um, I don't know, I think it's quite unique. He has a well, because I mean, there's a house here. He has hydro, he has a septic. So there's no contamination of the ground. Uh, he has clean drinking water. He's got propane. So, you know, it's, uh, hey, it's not a bad setup. It's, it's the best he can do. So why am I here today shooting this video? Um, well, it turns out Mike's in violation of zoning bylaw. Um, so the municipality served them some papers and, uh, they want them evicted. Um, so they're, uh, they're going through the process right now. He's been served. Uh, uh, it's going to go to court. Um, Mike's trying to retain a public defender. Um, hopefully he's successful. And, uh, to be honest, I don't know what he can do. I mean, I'm, I hope him to wish the best for him, but I mean... I'm assuming the township with all their resources and all their money and all your money, they're going to be successful in their application and he's going to be evicted. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I think it's important that people know about it. And I, th I wish we could find a different way, you know, because <clears throat> I guess, you know, the way I see it is, you know, with the well, with the septic, you know, Mike's got a lot to lose here. Uh, it's his home. It's all he's got for a home. Um, you know, you really, you need food, water, and shelter to live. And shelter's pretty important. It's not an ideal situation, but hey, I just don't think that, uh, well, I know for, I'll speak for myself. I wouldn't judge anybody if they lived in wherever they live. That's, that's what they have. If you lived in a trailer or you lived in a $2 million home or you lived in something in between, that's... It's just your home, right? Some homes are safer than other homes. Um, but I think what's important is that you, you have a home. And, uh, you know, I'd like to see... I guess I'm making this video just to <clears throat> just inform everyone. And I'm hoping maybe people that know... I, I'm hoping, you know, it would be ideal if council would change their decision, maybe. Um, uh, I know that's two new sitting councillors. Um, they, they talked about enforcing all their bylaws equally. And that's what this was about was just enforcing zoning bylaw. And I think the, the bylaw, the, the laws are there to, they're there to make the community a better place. And I'm, I'm struggling to see in this particular case, how, I mean, I guess judging by the looks of the vapor barrier, you know, and, uh, I don't know, maybe it's, this is a unpleasant sight for some of the residents driving by, I suppose. But, you know, uh, maybe it's maybe the municipality's concern for Mike's safety. I, 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 I'm trying to find the reasons of why, why as a municipality, as a community, we would want to evict Mike. 
I think that uh, there's maybe some positive to the eviction there. Um, I don't think it's going to make him safer. I, I think this is what he has. Uh, in fact, it could, I think the likely the opposite is true. Um, and, you know, uh, does it doesn't make the place more beautiful. Maybe, but um, I guess the risk is, I guess let's think about, have to have some empathy for Mike on the other side is that uh, this is his home. <laughs> so he's going to be a big loser in this, uh, a huge loser. And I think the municipality maybe gets a small win. Uh, that's that's the part I'm struggling with. I, I understand the rules and regulations, and I agree with rules and regulations. I support them. But I also think that they're intended to help the members of the community, all members of the community. And I don't think that, you know, Mike will be the first person that this might happen to. Um, I think there's others in the community maybe that are living in structures or living in trailers or living in even homes that might not meet zoning requirements. And I just don't think any of them, you know, I, I should be maybe treated on a case by case basis, but I think we have to be careful about who we evict and who we don't evict. And, and if, uh, I mean, if the municipality does not reverse its decision, which it's already down the process of doing, so I, it's probably unlikely they'll reverse it. Um, but I do want to get this video to them and I'm hoping you guys will reach out to your counselors and everything as well. Just to ask some more questions. If they don't reverse the decision, what are we doing as a municipality? And this is where I hope the municipality can definitely help. Um, is what are we doing as a municipality to help people, um, that find themselves homeless in our community or underhoused, living in trailers, things like that. And, I hope there's something we can do because, I mean, as many of you are aware and some aren't aware, we spend around $200,000 a year on DSAB, which is social housing. Every year our municipality spends it's just over $200,000 a year. And that goes to things like ambulance and childcare and um, other things. But it, it, a good portion of that is for housing, social housing, low-income housing. So um, hopefully the municipality can help... Um, help us the residents uh understand um how people can access those resources i mean we've been paying for them and 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 i hope we can access them and i think this is a situation where you know maybe this you know maybe mike can access some of those resources that we've been paying for um you know i don't know if there's any low-income housing in calvin um but uh I think the best situation is to allow the people to keep the housing that they have. One other thing, I don't want to talk too much. I don't want this to be too long of a video. Um, just a bit of a chat. But one of the things that I, I, I hope that can change is, you know, obviously if someone's, anybody that might be living in a trailer or living in a house that's maybe unfinished or maybe not a super nice house, you know, let's be honest here, is, you know, this they're not trying to avoid taxes. <laughs> I don't know anybody that's, you know, lives in um, a house that's maybe not a very nice house or a trailer that's saying, well, I'm going to live in this trailer because I don't want to pay taxes. I, th I think that's insane. I think that they're doing it out of necessity. Um, obviously, they're probably trying to improve their lives, improve themselves. I mean, that's what we do as people, right? We're always working to make our lives better. Um, and <clears throat> so, you know, he's not evading taxes. And it is one part of this application that I, I hope that can be changed. I think it's I think it's actually kind of cruel. Is in the application it says that Mike will be on the hook for the court costs, or the costs associated with the application. I mean, listen, this guy's. I mean, like money, money is an issue, <laughs> you know. And so far, I mean. You know, he's working, he's got a job, he's paying his bills, he's paying his taxes. Um, but, I mean, that can only go so far. So I, I just, I hope the municipality would be conscious that, you know, they may have unlimited resources, they may have all of our tax dollars, but some of the people that they're, they're enforcing their rules, uh, you know, their bylaws and their zoning against might not have of the resources. And to stick them with the bill, I think, would be unfair. Um, incredibly unfair. <laughs> um, 
And uh, so hopefully that can change. Hopefully he doesn't get stuck with a bill for for trying to defend himself and trying to defend his house, uh, his home. So anyway, I just, uh, I'm going to attach this video. I'm going to want to share it online. I'm going to try and sum it up so it's not too long. But uh, I don't want to attach the, uh, so what am I hoping comes of this? I don't know. I just think it's important people know. Um, I think uh, information in the community is important. I think I don't. I think that uh, we haven't been communicating as well since COVID. I, I believe that, and and with all the stuff that's going on in the world, it's uh, lots of people are falling between the cracks. Lots of things. Lots, lots of information in the community is not getting out. So, um, what can people do? I mean, I don't know. I'd say if you have a relationship with a counselor, or you know. Uh, Call them, ask them a couple questions about it, see if there's anything they can do to reverse it. I, I mean, I know they can, but they might tell you otherwise. But uh, if they can't reverse it, then what kind of supports can be provided? Um, municipality has a Facebook page. Um, you know, just reach out to them, be nice, be kind. I mean, because at the end of the day, we're all trying to help each other. I mean, that's the whole goal of a community, right? So, um, something to get angry about i hope it's not an angry video <laughs> um i think it's a serious video and um hopefully i can do some more in the future that aren't so serious but uh um yeah i think it's an important story that has to be told and uh reach out all the information's on their website and uh, ask some more questions about why why this has to be this way um and what we can do as a community to help and i just want to make one last thing clear is you know mike's not asking for money he doesn't want money. He doesn't really want any of this attention at all. Um, he doesn't really probably even, you know, love the idea of putting this video out there. But I think it, it needs to be shared. And um, there's not a lot of options. So he's not looking for money. He's not trying to crowdfund or fundraise or um, just wants to keep his house. Just wants to keep, uh, just wants to be allowed, allowed to stay. <laughs> so he can, he can help himself. And, and I don't think there's anything, I think that's, that's quite good. That's a, that's a noble thing. I, I think I would feel the same way. And he definitely doesn't want anybody's uh, pity or sympathy. Empathy is good. So to empathize and, and put yourself in someone else's shoes, but not to feel sorry for them. You know, everyone needs to pick themselves up and improve their own lives, but we just need not make it harder for them, I think, um, when we can, Right. And hopefully as a community, uh, we can reach out to council and maybe they can do something um, to, you know, give him a, let him stay for a little longer. I don't know. It's, it's just going to take time for him to get back on his feet. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. And uh, I'll give you one more look at the place. And, uh, you know, I don't know. Looking forward to hearing from you, getting some feedback. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later. Bye.